So do you, in your opinion, feel that this could have been an accident? The only problem we had was when these six guys wanted to quit. And there, I don't know the, t the jargon, but there, uh, uh, you know, a union rep or whatever in the New Mexico contract, different contracts in different states, the person that was in charge of these people and a kind of a pipeline, a lot of shooting going on, a lot of movie for TV work in uh, Albuquerque, Santa Fe, the person was their head person was told, told them, don't strike. It's not again. We want. We don't want to cripple the indie business and put all of our employees out of work. Our indie contract is 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 set for now. You have a contract you're under. Now we can renegotiate that contract, which no doubt they will. Uh, but in the meantime, you have a contract that you agreed to. And those men came. I'm not criticizing them. They came under a contract which they knew what it was. Mm -hmm. They reported to work, and then halfway through the the uh, the uh, shooting, they left. They they walked off. And I don't, you know, when he said to me, well, my guys are sleeping in my car, the ADs and the producers said to me, well, they're, they're, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're all of a sudden complaining about a contract they've been working on it for quite a while. The, the day before they walked up the job, we wrapped at 545 in the afternoon. Because I'm driving away with them, and I waved to that guy. The guy said, I want to talk to you, the heavy set guy. Yeah. And I'm leaving. I said, I'll see you tomorrow. And I left. I want to get, get, get home. Right. I want to go call my kids before they go to bed in New York. And uh, the um, uh, yesterday when I was driving, when I saw him, the sun was still out. Do you think that any part of this incident that occurred was intentional? Oh, I, I can only say this, which is, and, and it was to me, to place a bullet and position a bullet that is a live round, to make sure that that bullet is in the chamber, if I were to squeeze the trigger in a rehearsal that that bullet came out, someone has to have extraordinary access to that weaponry to do that. I can't imagine that somebody walked around with a round that was a 45 caliber round. So you see other people on the set were speculating that if it was a 45 caliber round, she'd be dead. And so we're wondering, was the projectile that went in or some foreign material stuck and it was an accident, it was a flash round, and something came out of the barrel. They didn't check. They always check. But... But to your experience with these armor... I've never heard of anything like this in my life, ever. Okay. I've never heard of a projectile coming out of a prop gun that went through a person's body, regardless of her being a smaller woman. I've never heard of that in my life. I don't know of any projectile in a gun in a flash prop gun that could accomplish that. Now, if somebody put a live round in there accidentally, see, a very important question for Hannah is, do, have you ever commingled live rounds with theatrical rounds in your kit? Because they're forbidden to do that. Mm -hmm. Can you explain uh, what your concerns were with the state of the prop cart? Well, I just never seen anything like it. Just, it was messy to me. It looked different than what I was used to. These two rounds were sent to the FBI because they were suspected live rounds, which the FBI confirmed. Meaning real bullets? Yes. And what's this one down here? This is a dummy 45 round with a hole drilled in the side. And these were just loose on the prop cart? Yes. Yikes. I guess that's more like the question that I'm trying to get out is you, do you think someone would deliberately do this? I can't imagine who would. Okay. Now, people have said, you know, that six people got fired from the crew yesterday. And that was yesterday. That was yesterday. Yeah. That was their last day. And yeah, the question yeah, becomes, yeah, I mean, yeah. somebody said, would, would one of them do I, I don't. I don't even know. I, I have no idea. I have no idea. But the two major people, like you said, the director, um, those are the ones who got hurt. So with the camera crew and them quitting and then your director getting injured as well as um, Helena, as you don't think there's anybody that had any anger towards them or anything that would want to do I don't know the film? details. I know that one guy, whose name I'm forgetting, he was a very heavy set guy. Okay. He was a very, and lovely to me. And he walked up to me and he said, thank you for the things you posted on social media in support of the IATSE strike. And he said, I'd like to talk to you privately. Because he said, because I've got some of my guys sleeping in their car. Mm -hmm. I keep telling myself, more likely, was it an accident? A large quarter load is, makes noise, but it's like kind of a puff compared. But a half load could shoot 
a projectile if something was stuck in the barrel. And like I said, the thing that is, I think, going to answer all your questions is, what's in Joel's shoulder? Mm -hmm. Is it a rock or is it a bullet? Uh, I could actually show that to you. What? What was in his shoulder? We did so they take it out? out? So you've been on set for so many years, like you said. You Have you ever seen, you, you said you've never seen anything come out before. I've so never seen, no, I've never seen a projectile come out. No, right. No. So, but so do you know what the bullets look like? Though? Would it have looked something like this if anything did ever come out of something? Okay. No, 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 okay. So, oh, let's uh, backtrack a little let bit. Let me say this too. Hold That's on. a bullet. <laughs> That's a bullet. So right. As I suspected, somebody put a live round in the gun. If that's a bullet that was pulled out of his shoulder, then someone loaded a live round into the gun I was holding. You think, don't forgive my, my, my weirdness about this. That's what came out of Joel's shoulder. Yes. Oh, it but, see, that's a bullet. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. I think the question, I mean, I don't really want to tell you your job, mm -hmm. but I'm so sick about this, so sickened by this, that a bullet passed through this girl's body. She's in critical condition in a hospital right now, and I fired the gun. And I was told by Halls, that when they took the gun away and looked at them, every round inside the gun was a cold round except the one round. It was not only a hot round, it was a live round with a bullet. If you're telling me that that's what came out of his shoulder, there's something really, really scary going on here. Well, it was supposed to be cold or empty, but now, not only did I rehearse with a hot gun, I rehearsed with a gun that had a bullet inside. If that's what came out of his shoulder, this is the most horrifying thing I've ever heard in my life. I do have some very unfortunate news to tell you. What? Um, she didn't make it. No. Yeah. So, Joel's still at the hospital, but the other person involved didn't make it. <laughs>